Since we have already started using web framework of Node.js that is Express, we will keep on editing the main JavaScript files and to see the reflection of those changes we need to keep on restarting the server as you have already seen in previous day video tutorials. But also note that changes to these Jade files which is Jade which is template engine does not require a restart of the server but editing of main javascript files that is app.js files require restarting of the server for the changes to be reflected on the web browser so this is our index.j file so if we go ahead and include something i'll go ahead and include my name inside a paragraph tag remember that we are not going to restart our server we'll just call the index that is the root from our browser and it should reflect the changes without need to restart the server. So this is true only with the template engine or the static HTML pages that resides in our public folder. But what if we change something in app.js, the starting point of execution of our Node.js application. Here I'm adding a route to our application that is slash about. We'll come to routing shortly. So just get to know that I'm adding a route called slash about which should display about us page. If we don't restart the server and go to this route, it will give us cannot get this because it doesn't understand the route for for the server to render those pages, we need to restart the server. Now refresh and we get it. So to automate this process, we'll be, we need to restart the server whenever there is a changes. So to make it automated, we will install a dependency called node daemon that would listen to the changes in any of our JavaScript file and restart the server automatically whenever there is a saving of the changes whenever we save the changes in our main javascript file so the dependency is node daemon and i'll install the latest version of it press ctrl c to exit and i'll install node daemon remember as you have already seen here i am installing node daemon locally so I can't directly use node daemon space app.js because it doesn't understand what is node daemon. It's just local to our own application. So I'll show you a workaround how to use that once it gets installed. Remember you need to have a active internet connection to this for this to download and install. Now it successfully installed node daemon. I can't directly give this command as I just told so what we could do now just get just to show you the folder structure I'll open the folder inside node modules here we have node daemon get inside that this is the javascript file which is responsible for restarting of the server whenever we save changes to our javascript files so here is a start here write node daemon space app.js and while executing instead of node you write npm space start as simple as that now the server started now let's change something in app.js and and see to that the server restarts itself when i save the file now if i go and try to access slash contact route you get cannot get slash routes because there is no information about that i'll go ahead and add a routing information for slash contact whenever i make the change and once i save this file the server restarts automatically so i'll show you that drag it a bit and make room for our command prompt so yeah 
we can see restarting once I save this I'll hit Control S which is save and the server restarted by itself so this is how now as a proof go and refresh this and our contact page shows up proving that the server automatically restarted itself so this is how we could save some time well we installed it locally because while moving this to production we could safely uninstall that package that module and then run node as usual using node space app.js once we are moving it to the production we already know things are working properly and we need not edit it quite often as often as while in the development stage please share this video with your friends on google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon facebook etc stay subscribed to technotip.com technotip.org and to our youtube channel and don't forget to like this video on youtube